Joining me now is Amani Chir. She's the, she is the Associate Director of the School of Media and Public Affairs and a professor at George Washington University here in the nation's capital. So, uh, Amani, 13 movies were released during the five-day May Day holiday, setting a new record. What do you think it says yeah. about the movie and entertainment industry in China right now? Is it back? Um, thank you so much for having me this evening. Um, it's absolutely back. Movies are back. People are feeling confident. And that's what we're really seeing over the last five days with this special holiday weekend in China. We're seeing the fact that people feel confident enough to go out to participate um, within the film industry. And it's just really, really exciting, especially after the, the pretty dire 2020 um, that we all saw. We're hitting and surpassing 2019 numbers. I'm really excited. Do you think Chinese domestic productions have taken out the vacuum left by Hollywood blockbusters? Um, you know, a lot of uh, productions stopped here in the West. Nothing was being done during this pandemic. And then to a second question, pandemic aside, how would you describe the relationship right now between Hollywood and Chinese audiences? Yeah, so I think what we've seen is a combination of, of multiple factors. So you had like massive streaming um, services that were, you know, completely, you know, taking over um, over the last 14 to 16 months. And the ability for you to, as we saw that direct to, to home at theater option. And now we're seeing the turn. And now we're seeing that people are obviously more comfortable and more confident um, going into theaters. And even at 75% capacity, as mentioned in the segment, you're still seeing those filled. You're still seeing the people going out taking their families, romantic comedies, action movies are coming, and we're seeing the void filled in the Chinese market left by American films. And the reality that everything did stop in Hollywood and everything was um, silenced or drastically shifted. And then what we're seeing now is that the opportunity for more Chinese-based and Chinese-centered films to rise to the occasion where American films in Hollywood would have stepped in. So that being said, how has Hollywood's dependence on China's box office been impacted by the pandemic? Drastically. Uh, we are going to see, I mean, the prime example, one prime example right now, um, the Fast and the Furious um, franchise. We all know F9 is coming out here in the United States in June, but a full five weeks earlier, um, they're going to be releasing this film in China. And we haven't seen that before, but they know if there's an opportunity, if they're really going to get a bang for their buck, if they're going to really get those box office numbers up, it's not necessarily going to be an American audience that's going to do that. We're really looking at the global market, in particular within China, who's going to really carry um, some of these large blockbuster uh, U.S.-based films. All right. Always great to get your take up. Uh, Amani Chia is here in Washington. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.